Military experts closely watching the development of events in the Avdiivka direction were horrified by the words of the president of Ukraine Vladimir Zelensky. His words about the situation at the front forced experts and analysts to doubt the adequacy of the Ukrainian president. In particular, Vladimir Zelensky declared that the armed forces of Ukraine will make new attempts to advance not only in 2024, but also in December of this year. At the same time, the former comedy actor and the star of comedy movies decided to completely ignore the words of an experienced general of the Ukrainian army, Valery Zeluzny, that the armed forces of Ukraine had reached an impasse in the war against Russia. We will go forward no matter what. We have a clear plan that we are following. In our action plan, there are certain cities and villages that will be liberated, Vladimir Zelensky said. Moreover, during his speech, Zelensky again dared to reproach the West that the armed forces of Ukraine are slowly advancing at the front. According to him, it is the West that is to blame for the fact that the armed forces of Ukraine have not yet achieved significant results at the front, since the United States and Europe have transferred an insufficient number of weapons to Ukraine. At the same time, it is worth noting that when discussing Zelensky's speech, many analysts said that the president of Ukraine, with his words, tried to distract the attention of Ukrainian citizens from the failures of the armed forces of Ukraine on the battlefield. In particular, in the Bakhmut and Avdiivka directions. The fact is that even Ukrainian sources, including numerous telegram channels, recognize the fact that Russian troops are rapidly narrowing the ring around Avdiivka. Moreover, on the evening of November 7, even Ukrainian war correspondents confirmed the fact that the Russian army managed to advance two kilometers and occupy a vast territory to the west of the village of Krasnogorovka. Thus, the grouping of the Ukrainian army in Avdiivka found itself in a real cauldron. At the same time, the Ukrainian military portal, Deep State, was forced to admit that Russian troops took full control of the garden village of Tokmash, also known as Tokmash Partnership, in the north of Avdiivka, creating for themselves a springboard for closing the cauldron around the city. It is also worth noting the statements of German military experts from the addition build. According to them, the Russian army is rapidly moving forward in the Avdiivka direction. In particular, the Russian troops significantly reduced the distance between the northern and southern flanks. According to German experts, the Russian troops have only 5 kilometers to advance to close the cauldron around Avdiivka. The words of German experts were also confirmed by numerous war correspondents. In particular, they said that the Russians began calling on Ukrainian soldiers in Avdiivka to surrender and save their lives. Thus, the Russians give Ukrainian soldiers a chance to survive before the cauldron around Avdiivka closes. However, judging by the actions of the Kiev regime, the Ukrainian High Military Command has prepared an unenviable fate for the grouping of the armed forces of Ukraine in Avdiivka. The Kiev authorities demand that Ukrainian soldiers stand to the end and not give the city to the enemy. Moreover, Kiev continues to send combat-ready units of the Ukrainian army from the Zaporizhia and Bakhmut directions to Avdiivka. All this has already harmed the offensive potential of the armed forces of Ukraine. As a result, the Russians began to seize the initiative in all directions of the front, even in the Bakhmut direction.
It is reported that due to the lack of manpower and heavy weapons, the armed forces of Ukraine were forced not only to completely stop offensive actions on the city of Bakhmut, but even to begin withdrawing their units from the southwestern part of the village of Kleshchevka.